what you and I both see before us right here is an incredible study in reference to something called fasting mimicking diet and high dose vitamin C in combating heart to tree cancers. We will return to coronavirus sometime a little bit later on, but however though, honestly, most information in regard to COVID-19 is really being redundant in reference to vitamin D and selenium, or I should say confirming in reference to basically the health recovery or at least resistance to the disease. It is now up to bureaucracies to pick up that ball and start running with it, hopefully sooner than opposed to later. But to proceed as follows into this incredible research, which a lot of what's happening is COVID-19 is so predominant in research that a large number of breakthroughs are getting buried. And this is one of the breakthroughs we're about to cover right now in reference to FMD, fasting fast mimicking diet, and high dose vitamin C. All right, what are we looking at right here? We are looking at basically that combination of fasting mimicking diet and ascorbic acid, albeit, administered in vivo to basically mice at four grams per kilogram intraperitoneal twice a day. And the results are just astounding. And that is why I had to present this to you today because I don't want research like this getting buried. And we're going to cover a lot more great research and breakthroughs later on during, uh, as time moves forward. But proceed as follows. A combo of fasting plus vitamin C is effective for heart to treat cancer, study shows. Quoting, for the first time we have demonstrated how a completely non-toxic intervention can effectively treat an aggressive cancer. We have taken two treatments that are studied extensively as interventions to delay aging, a fasting making diet, and vitamin C, and have combined them as a powerful, the words not mine, treatment for cancer. To proceed forward to the article. Results of prior research on the cancer fighting potential of vitamin C have been mixed. Recent studies, though, are beginning to show some efficacy, especially in combination with chemotherapy. In this new study, the research team wanted to find out whether a fasting mimicking diet could enhance the high dose vitamin C tumor fighting action by creating an environment that would be unsustainable for cancer cells, but still safe for normal cells. Now, this is the one part of the article that just was stunning. And this is why I had to break tradition a little bit over the past few weeks and actually present this research today. I hope you find it basically as amazing as I do. As follows, as we read a quote, I should say. Our first in vitro experiment showed remarkable effects. When used alone, fasting, mimicking diet, or vitamin C alone reduced cancer cell growth and caused a minor increase in cancer cell death. But, emphasize, but when used together, they had a dramatic effect, killing almost all cancerous cells. Now keep in mind, they were primarily looking at colorectal cancer cells, but still just the same, incredible, incredible outcome. All right, now what we're gonna do is move a little, I'm gonna read a little fast, but we're gonna look at the full study. The DOI citation and links will all be there for you to follow and purview the research on your own to gather tidbits of information. But it's important that we cover this now because you have to understand what a fasting mimicking diet is in regard to the research that we're discussing. Quote, we have previously shown that fasting mimicking or fasting mimicking diet, FMD, remember FMD for later on, reduced tumor progression and sensitized different types of cancer to chemotherapy while protecting normal cells from chemotoxic side effects. These phenomena are known as differential stress sensitization, speak properly today, and differential stress resistance, respectively. The differential effects of fasting on normal protection and cancer sensitization cell, why can I say that word today? Cancer cells can be mediated at least in part by its effects on the insulin-like growth factor IGF-1, signaling pathway and on glucose levels. However, since fasting remains a challenging option for cancer patients, a more feasible and safer diet whose specific formulation mimics the effects of fasting was developed. FMD, now keep in mind, the fasting we're talking about before proceed is actually designed to prevent muscle catabolism or to maintain a preserved lean muscle mass. FMD refers to a plant-based diet, calorie-restricted, low sugar, low protein, and high fat dietary composition administered cyclically and alternated with refeeding periods sufficient to prevent or minimize lean body mass loss. 
The caloric content of the FMD that we used for the study, quoting obviously, is indicated in the method section, and that's why I have the DOI citation and the link to the full study. This is the animal diet. All right, take a brief look at that. Now we're gonna go to the vitamin C administration, which was ascorbic acid, to proceed as follows. For vitamin C experiments, mice undergoing standard feeding, or at least, or at least, sorry, or at the last day of the first FMD cycle, remember the FMD, started to be treated with vitamin C at four grams a kilogram with saline, intraperitoneal, injection twice a day, every day until the end of the experiment. At least six to eight hours have elapsed between the two administrations in each day. That is what led to just the incredible, incredible results. And to basically, to reemphasize the quote, used together they had a dramatic effect killing almost all cancer cells. Now to conclude. The scientists believe cancer will eventually be treated with low toxicity drugs in a manner similar to how antibiotics are used to treat infections that kill particular bacteria, but which can be substituted by other drugs if the first is not effective. To move forward toward the goal, that goal, they said they needed to first test two hypotheses, or hypotheses that their non-toxic combination interventions would work in mice and that it would look promising for human clinical trials. In this new study, they said that they've demonstrated both. At least five clinical trials, including one at USC on breast cancer, prostate cancer patients are now investigating the effects of the fast and mimicking diets in combination with different cancer fighting drugs. Now, hopefully, many of them start to include the vitamin C, which the researchers so brilliantly discovered also has an incredible synergistic effect with that FMD diet in resulting in creating an environment which is unsustainable for cancer cells according to the research outcome. So I'm not making any claims, just that's the research outcome itself. Again, incredible, incredibly beneficial to people and individuals. Again, work with your medical professional, but just amazingly promising and hard to treat cancers. This is the type of research over the past few weeks, which I've accumulated quite a bit of and will go through in the coming weeks, but you just be amazed what's been passed over on a daily basis and totally left out of the news cycles, but yet incredible breakthroughs just the same, which we'll cover later on. We will go back to coronavirus and COVID-19 a little bit later on, it provided there's actually substance substantial, but that's with vitamin D and selenium. And obviously, I would love to see that start being administered as a mitigating effect for this pandemic, so on and so forth. But that's up to bureaucratic um, ideology, I guess, or what a motivation, I should say. But however, though, as always, gratitude, gratitude for listening. Hope you find this information in use. And I myself look forward to see you all in the next seven days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Where'd it go? Three, two, one. There we are. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.